What's up everybody? It is JJ Buckets and let me tell you right now I am staring at the TV screen watching the NBA draft watching our Toronto Raptors make their selection and it's Scotty Barnes. Wow. Um, I don't want to say I didn't see this coming. I mean obviously in my mock draft that I just put out like the other day I did have Jalen Suggs going to the Raptors. I thought there was a good chance that the Raptors might go take Scotty Barnes. There were plenty of reports that the Raptors were looking at Scotty Barnes. That's why I ended up doing that last um, uh, draft profile video, excuse me, uh, featuring Scotty Barnes. <laughs> I guess it's a good thing I did uh, because that does end up being a selection. Uh, if you guys want, I guess, a more extensive look on just a breakdown of Scotty Barnes as a player, go take a look at that. I uh, put in a lot of work to all of the draft profile videos. But in the meantime, I'm just going to hit you with some, I guess, immediate thoughts and initial reactions of this pick. It leaves me with more questions than answers, if I'm being quite honest. And that's not necessarily speaking on to Scotty Barnes. It's more so. I'm looking at Scotty Barnes and I'm looking at everybody else that's currently on this team in terms of Pascal, OG, Fred Van Vliet I guess being the main core and you know if we want to believe that Gary Trent Jr. is going to come back um, with the restricted free agency, you know, him as well. I'm just very curious I guess to see how this team lines up or if this is really the final move or if it's just the beginning of something here for Toronto because obviously you know, between OG, between Pascal, and between Barnes, those are all players that you're kind of looking at there and thinking to yourself, these guys could probably be starters. I think you could definitely justify Scotty Barnes being a starter. With the Raptors, I imagine the big thing with Barnes was the high ceiling. If I know Toronto as well as I do, which obviously I'm speaking from the perspective of a fan, uh, not anybody in the front office by any means, but if I know Toronto as well as I do, they have done their homework and for one reason or another, they believed that Scotty Barnes was their guy over a guy like Suggs, maybe, you know, even over a guy like Jonathan Kuminga as well, who they were obviously doing their homework on too. I would assume it's the high ceiling of Scotty Barnes that really intrigues the Raptors here. I don't know man, like, I, I get, I was personally expecting Suggs, I think again, it, there was kind of a safe nature to the Suggs selection, whereas with Barnes, it's more so you're banking on being able to develop him, and with Toronto of course, that's not really the worst bet in the world, because we all know Toronto has been fantastic at developing homegrown talent of late, we obviously have Chris Boucher, Pascal Siakam, Fred Van Vliet, OG Ananobi, all these guys you can point to, all these guys that have taken, you know, strides, in progressing their game that have improved throughout. I think you're gonna see it with Malachi potentially too. The Raptors are obviously good at this. And I imagine, you know, having a little faith in themselves here is where the Raptors probably sat down and were thinking, you know what? We know what our player development, you know, team is like. We want the guy that we think can be the best player with our player development team in terms of you know, we are going to maximize who this guy is, and I believe that Scotty Barnes is who the Raptors thought it was going to be, right? Uh, I guess of those three that they could have picked from, obviously Kuminga, Suggs, Barnes, you know what I'm talking about here. So it's an interesting selection. Again, it's not one that's incredibly shocking to me, but again, it's not the one that I personally, I guess, put down money on, uh, so to speak. I think taking a player like Scotty Barnes indicates that maybe Toronto doesn't see themselves being competitive and in the mix for a championship in the next few years, I would say. Maybe they want to take the long approach and the long haul to retooling and rebuilding the team as opposed to just trying to reinsert themselves back into the mix because I think Jalen Suggs is a player that probably reinserts you into that mix a lot quicker, whereas Barnes is a player that potentially pays off more in the long run. So it'll be interesting. There's a bit of a feeling like the Raptors might not be done, like there are more moves coming. I do think a selection of Scotty Barnes probably rules out anything like a Ben Simmons trade, which 
is a pro or a con, uh, depending on how you look at it, depending on who you are and how you feel about Ben Simmons. I just don't think there's any way that you're pro you're gonna be putting Ben Simmons on the court uh, with Scotty Barnes at the same time. If, if I'm wrong though, well damn, if I'm wrong about that, I really hope I'm not. I really don't want to see Ben Simmons share in the court with uh, Scotty Barnes. At this point though, I really don't see it happening. I think they're very similar players. And I don't think Toronto makes this selection if they're going to go make another move for a guy like Ben. So I, you can pretty much remove Toronto from that race, that discussion, I guess. It is a little interesting, though, because, you know, the spacing, I look at it with, you know, Barnes and Siakam specifically. I know Siakam has had his moments where he's looked like a competent shooter, but... Overall, I just don't think that's him and I don't think that's his game. So it'll be interesting to see how this team comes together. I think that's just my biggest initial reaction is it will be interesting to see where things go from here because I don't think this is the end of it. I'm not necessarily somebody that believes Pascal is gonna get traded, but the addition of Scotty Barnes does make that route a little more accessible I think that's the word I'm looking for I guess it paves the path a little bit more uh, for a potential Siakam trade maybe none of that happens maybe they're just playing around tinkering seeing what they can do maybe Siakam is gonna small ball five next offseason and Barnes is gonna play the four OG plays the three you know Trent Fred Van Vliet uh, are your guards something along those lines it'll be interesting that's I guess just my biggest takeaway is it'll be interesting I don't think things are done but I also wouldn't be surprised if they are. I don't know. I, I clearly at this point, I'm just rambling a little bit. Um, I feel like I've gotten most of my thoughts out on this. Again, they went for the high upside over the, I guess, lower floor. It'll be interesting to look back at this in five, 10 years and see how that decision paid off for the Raptors and whether or not it did pay off for the Raptors. Again, we know who the Raptors are. We know how good that front office is. I don't think they make the selection for Scotty Barnes if they didn't have the utmost confidence in his work ethic and, you know, his commitment to improving the player that he is. So, let's see how the next few years go. <laughs> um, I think that's been me today. I don't want to just sit here and just keep going on and on when I don't really have all of my thoughts, I guess, perfectly collected on the subject. Maybe I'll drop a video in the future with a more extensive look, but at the same time, I don't think I will because I've already done the scouting profile or the draft profile on Scotty Barnes. I already have my feelings on him as a player laid out there. So like I said earlier in the video, if you want to go check that video out, it's on my page. It's a good video. Like I said, I put a lot of work into those every single time. So do check it out if you want a more extensive breakdown on the kind of player that he is. I'll probably drop a link in the description. Other than that, this has been JJ Buckets. This has been my immediate reaction to Scotty Barnes being drafted as I still, you know, just stare at the screen as this draft ticks away and Jalen Suggs goes number five to the Magic. And yeah, if you're here for the first time, you know the drill. Like the video, doesn't take a lot of time. Super appreciated by me. Like it literally takes a second. And for me, it makes a monstrous difference. So I appreciate it if you do it, truly. Other than that, if you're new here, subscribe button, smash it break your phone. That's how hard I want you to be smashing that subscribe button. Other than that, that's really just going to do it for me here today. See everybody next time.